What's up SEO pros, welcome back. Chase Fender here and today we're gonna to be talking about how to make over $10,000 a month with GSA contact and automation coming up. All right guys, so a lot of the recent videos I've been doing on this channel um, have been really just around sending messages with contact forms, but what I've also been doing is trying to figure out how to automate the closing process when somebody contacts us back. So what I've been doing is I've been doing a huge amount of testing. I've actually tested, I think now over five or six million contact form submissions over the last week. And today I'm gonna to show you how I'm setting all of this up. So if you wanna do something similar, <clears throat> you can do that. Um, and I'll also show you the results that I've been getting. And I'll also show you the scripts that I've been using that have been allowing me to get people um, interested in getting an audit, a website audit, um, and then hopefully ending up paying me for services or paying you for services, okay? Now, before we get started, I just wanna mention, if you go to chaserunner.com, every single month, I give away $1,000 for free. All you have to do is follow me on social media. You can click on any one of these and follow me and you get entered to win. I do that to give back, but also to keep people engaged and following me and that kind of thing. So go enter it, it's completely free. And I will also leave links to everything that I'm gonna be talking about today uh, if I have any special deals or any sort of you know affiliates that are going to help you out, I will leave that in the description so that way you can pick up the best deals if you end up getting any of these things. All right, so first thing we need in order to get set up, and, and this is more of an optional thing because you can run this from your own computer, but you're likely gonna want to run this from a virtual private server if you're um, wanting to automate this because when it's running on your computer in the background, it's going to end up uh, taking a lot of processing power. So it would probably be um, better to set up a VPS, which is basically a computer that you can log in to from anywhere and have it run things for you while you're on your other, on your main computer, okay? So um, for uh, VPS, what I use is a uh, company called Solid SEO VPS. So let's go look it up on Google. <clears throat> and here we can see it says, you're a solid SEO VPS. Now there's a bunch of different options. I use the, I think it's the Ryzen VPS. It's the fastest one. It is a little bit more expensive. I think I use the $84 one. Um, ideally, if you want to automate at a fast, faster level, you would use something that has um, a higher CPU or a better CPU and more RAM, but you can get away with using, um, you know, the four gigabyte one, four gigabyte RAM VPS with four cores. Uh, either way, just choose whatever you want. And again, if you don't feel like doing this uh, with a VPS and you just want to try this out on your own computer and just get your feet wet, you can completely skip this as well. Um, it's just really up to you, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go buy a VPS here. I'm going to click on order now, fill out my info, click on continue. Now, what's going to happen is after you buy this, they're going to send you an email with your information and what it's going to look like, because I can't bring up the email, otherwise it'll leak my VPS information, but they're going to send you an email that says um, your username or your IP, your username, and then your password. Okay. And so I'll show you how to connect to this. Um, if you're on a Mac, you're going to have to get a, a Mac version of what I'm going to show you on Windows. I forget the name of it. I think it's like, um, if you just look up like Mac uh, remote desktop app, there's plenty of different ones I think that work with Mac. Let's see, is this it? Yeah, this is the one I use. So if you're on a Mac, you would grab this one. On, and again, I'll leave links to everything in the description of this video. If you're not on a Mac, then you would use um, just the one that Windows comes with. It's just called, if you just type in remote desktop, you'll see it pop up here. And then you're gonna take the IP address that they give you. This says 173-213-85228. Um, if they give you, you know, whatever, 175264, you're just gonna take whatever that is and you're gonna copy and paste it into here, okay? And then you're gonna click on connect. I'm already connected, so I don't really need to do this, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it for the sake of this video. Um, but basically what it's going to do is it's going to ask you for your username and then it's going to ask you for your password. Um, and actually, I, I'm not going to do it because I'm already connected, but 
Um, it just asks you for your username and password. You're just gonna type that in and then it's gonna connect you, okay? So now once you're, <clears throat> once you're into the VPS, you're just gonna have a blank desktop that looks like this. It's just gonna have nothing on it. It's not even gonna have this on it, okay? Now, first thing you need to do is you need to go download GSA contact, okay? So let me open up a new browser. I'm gonna go to GSA contact. Now you can buy this on your main computer. You don't have to buy it on, um, on here. Uh, this is just to download it, okay? Or actually do GSA contact submission. And like I said, I will leave the links in there so you, you don't lose track of all this. But you're gonna download this on your VPS or on your main computer if you're doing it on your main computer instead of your VPS. <clears throat> Open it up, click on run, and then you will be uh, greeted with a, um, a, a tool that looks like this. Now you're not gonna have any of this in here. This is actually, um, these are the, the ones that I'm already sending out. These are already set up, so you're not gonna have anything in here. So first thing you're gonna need to do is click on new. And it, by the way, this tool starts to lag a little bit if you start having a ton of um, contact forms in here. So just know if like, you upload a bunch of contact forms, you'll end up getting a, a really slow load time sometimes. But anyways, we're gonna type in the new project. So we'll just say, um, let's say we wanna reach out to plumbers, okay? And we wanna reach out to them in, I don't know, anywhere in the US. So we'll click on okay. Now there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. Um, you can, you know, you can reach out by uh, scraping keywords. You can scrape your own list that you already have pre-built. Um, you can buy lists and I'll talk about how to do that in a second. But before we actually go in and start scraping anything, we wanna set up a few things. One of which is just verifying this app meaning that we wanna make sure it's registered. So you're gonna to go to options or you're gonna to go to um, help, I believe, and register. Once you click on register, it's gonna ask for your key. So when you buy GSA contact, which I will go back to here, you're gonna to go to the link in the description, get whatever discount I have, if I have one, and you're gonna go buy GSA contact and they're gonna send you an email <clears throat> with all of your, um, with your license, okay? So you're gonna take that license Take the license and you're going to basically just put it into the app. Okay. Now, by the way, if you're super lost right now, you have no idea what's going on. Um, I just want to mention that I am considering creating a done for you service where I either set this up for you um, or I just send the leads for you uh, or I do a, a full course on it, you know, uh, or I sell you the list. There's so many different options here. Um, I'm, I'm really getting into the automation stuff lately. So right now I just need a few people to test this stuff with. So if you're interested in any of this, you know, done for you set up, getting the lead sent directly to you, a course, please just let me know in the comments because it really helps me know what people are interested in the most and then I can build something for you. <clears throat> but anyways, um, what we're going to do is we're going to, now that we have the VPS set up, we have the license set up. Now we need the proxies. Okay. Because if we start, um, whether you're on your own computer or whether you're on a VPS, if you start crawling a bunch of keywords or websites and you don't have proxies set up, you're gonna get instantly banned from the VPS because um, basically they're gonna get a bunch of uh, complaints usually from these different websites. And that's why you wanna have proxies set up and proxies are basically what allow you to do the crawling, uh, the scraping and the submissions without having the VPS IP um, being shown. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and buy some proxies. Now for proxies, I use a tool or I mean, I use a service called my private proxy and this, it does get expensive by the way, guys. Um, part of the reason why I haven't been showing how to do this is because the thing is, is one, it's really complicated, but two, um, it's very expensive. Like in order to do this whole process, which is buying the list or scraping the list, setting up the proxy, setting up the VPS is, um, you know, and, and then scaling it with different tools, it starts to become very expensive. So, um, you know, sometimes it might be better just to, just to get traffic or leads sent to you, but we're going to go to my private proxy here. And if we go to my private proxy and we log in, 
where is it? Um, oh, we go to private proxies. We can go buy, I buy about 200. Now the reason, the reason why I usually want to invest more in proxies um, than other things is because the more proxies you have, the more threads you can run. And the more threads you can run basically means the more websites you can contact at a time. So some people have thousands of proxies that they use. Like you can get, you can see here 2000 proxies, which means you could run an extremely large amount of websites at a time. But the problem with that is that you'll start getting diminishing returns the more websites you're running. Okay. So what we're going to do, you know, if, if we're, if we're serious, but we don't want to, you know, break the bank would probably do this one, the 200 proxies. Um, but you can get away with starting out with, you know, 10, 20 proxies. Um, you're not going to have to automate at an extremely high level in order to get leads. In fact, you're probably going to get so many leads just from doing a few of these that you won't even really need like a super high level of automation. It's just, it's just, if you want to go really, really deep, that's when you would get a higher level, um, you know, 200 proxies, 500 proxies, that kind of thing. So you're going to buy these. And when you buy these, um, they're going to give you a download file. They're going to give you a text file that you download. And then what you're going to do is you're going to upload that text file to Google Drive, and then you're going to open up that Google Drive file on your VPS. You're going to download it, and then you're going to basically upload your proxies inside of your project. So you'd go in here, you would go to use proxies for search engines, you click on configure, and then you would um, connect all of your proxies. So you would just add, pro uh, click on add uh, like this, and then you would import from a file. Okay. Now, once you have that set up, um, now you can actually start scraping lists and sending messages. Okay. So the only other thing that you might want to do is set up a decaptcha service. This is something that I'm having a bottleneck with right now. I need to set up, um, the GSA contact decaptcha breaker. I think it's called, um, I've been buying decaptchas, which is really expensive. So right now I'm not going to go over that, but, um, just know that if you go into the captures section here, you can set up um, decaptchas and you it, right now just don't do it because if you're going to be spending money on the captures, you're just going to run out very quickly. And so that's, what's been happening to me. And so I have to make a separate video on how to set up the decaptcha breaker. Cause I haven't done that yet, but you can still send out a bunch of messages without de decaptchas. Okay. So how do you set up the list? Now, one thing that you can do, um, if we click on add here and then enter, we can start entering in different keywords that we want to crawl. Okay. Um, I think you can also import a list from clipboard. So let's say we wanted to get a bunch of plumbers around different cities um, that we wanted to contact. So one way we could do that is we could go to Google drive and sorry, this is probably really, really complicated. I don't know if I, I wasn't expecting to, um, do this, but a lot of people have been asking me, so I thought, why not? So what you can do is you can take, um, a list like this, just type in plumbers, and then we can go to, um, all cities in us. We could also do all States if we wanted to do that, but here's all the different cities. Actually, we're going to have to just go like this, cause it's going to take a while like that copy, plug them in. And then we would take the plumbers here and we just drag it all the way down. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us, um, all of the different cities for all the different plumbers in the U S so we can start scraping these and we can customize messages around people that sell plumbing. So let's just copy that. We'll just do that for now. <laughs> Sorry about that. We're going to copy all of these and then we're going to go back to GSA and we're going to edit and import from or add and import from clipboard. So now we have all the plumbers. Oh, we need a space. Let me go back. Let me start over there. So we're going to do, um, Uh, space. Uh, how am I going to do that? Oh, I guess I would just do a space here like that. There we go. Well, let's just take a few. We don't need that many because I'm just showing you an example. So we copy that and we're going to go back to GSA, add, 
import. Okay, now we have plumbers in all these different cities, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the tool, right? So we're gonna click on um, okay. And by the way, remember, you wanna make sure that you have your proxies turned on, that's very important. So if I double click on this again and I make sure, use proxies, you wanna make sure they're enabled. If they're not enabled, that can be really bad. Now you can also choose what, what listing you want. So start page, um, this is from all these different search engines. We might wanna just do like the first five pages for each of these keywords. That way we don't start getting too irrelevant. Um, and then we're gonna click start and we're gonna click on scrape. Now this is gonna start scraping all of the contact forms for these websites, right? It's also gonna find stuff like social data and I think it will, sometimes it finds emails. I don't really know exactly um, all the different settings in here. I'm still kind of a noob at this, but you can see we already have 200 websites that we can submit messages to. Now this is a slower way of doing this. Um, again, the best way to do this is to buy pre-built lists. Um, I have somebody that sells pre-built lists like in the millions range. And so if you want access to the lists where you can just upload them directly, like these lists here, the 1 million URLs here, I have somebody that just goes and uploads these directly, okay? Or uh, somebody that, um, how do I say it? They, uh, they sell these lists directly, okay? So if you want access to just being able to buy the lists, let me know. Um, and I can end up probably creating like a, a page for that, that we can sell, I can sell the lists. Um, but anyways, if I stop this, and let's say I want to contact these 500 sites, what I can do is I can go to here, submission content, and I can start filling out the information, right? So I can say, okay, my first name, I'm going to say this is self-defined, meaning that I want to, I want to specify this is Chase. My last name is, we could just change it to, I don't know, something, maybe, it, maybe we want something that's not my last name, just, I don't know, just in case people don't want it. We don't want them to look us up. So let's just say my last name is uh, Rogers, I don't know. And then we can specify our other info, like the subject line. Um, plumbing, plumber, and we could, we could send them a case study or something, I don't know. Plumber ranks number one on Google. I don't know, whatever you want to say. This is where you can kind of experiment. The thing that I've been experimenting with is like issues with your website or volunteer. We'll just do issues. I also like, are you still in business? Because then that's like a really good headline where they're like, yes, of course, you know. Um, and then message. I usually do something like, hey, uh, my name is Chase. I noticed a few issues with your website and I'd love to volunteer my time to you to fix them. Um, I've been helping plumbers, blah, blah, blah. You know, whatever you can do to make it more um, personalized and specific, the better, right? Okay, so you do that and then you want your call to action. So any one of these messages, you have some sort of call to action, right? So you have your, um, you know, give me a call, send me a message, you know, enter your website, go to this link, whatever you want. Um, one of the things that I feel like works best right now is just like call or text me at, and then you get a number, right? And then this is where we hook this up to something like go high level. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. So let me get my number in go high level settings. Um, phone numbers. Now, just let me know, by the way, in the comments, um, right now, if this kind of stuff is crazy to you, like, I'm just curious what you think. Like, is this something that you're just like looking at and you're like, what the actual heck? Because when I found this stuff out, I'm like, this is an absolute game changer. And the fact that you can even do this stuff to me is like, just kind of blew my mind. Um, so anyways, if we do, Hey, my name is Chase. There we go. There's the number. Now this is going to a call forwarding number so we can actually track this in a leads dashboard, but let's press okay. Um, so now we need to send the messages as well. So when we go and do the submissions, we also need to make sure we enable proxies because it, we don't need to just enable proxies for scraping, but also for the submissions. Now, if we press okay and we click on start, send messages. Yes. This is going to start sending messages to these plumbing websites.
So we got four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you can see a lot of these are failing. Usually it's because we don't have um, dCAPTCHA set up yet. But in just a couple seconds, we already have 50 messages sent out, which is crazy, right? So, the but the secret here is, again, it's a, it's a numbers game. The more threads you can do, or the more threads you can run, the more scraping you can do, the more you automate, the more you can actually like scale this. Um, if I click on options here, we're also gonna get an option for how fast we can scrape based on the amount of proxies we have and how strong our VPS is. And we can also get how many we can submit at once. Um, so ideally you would have multiple VPSs running and just scraping in the background for these different lists. And then you would have all these lists pre-built and ready to go. So you could personalize what you're doing. Um, I'm not going to dive too deep into all of that because it's going to start getting really, really deep. But um, just know that like this is the basics to basically sending out, uh, you know, 94 messages in just a couple minutes. Okay. Also make sure I forgot to mention when you have this set up, whoop, when you have this set up, um, go uh, only only send these to a burner email. And what I mean by that, let me stop this for a second, is you don't want your messages to go to your real email address. Like when you specify what, what email you're, um, they can respond to, because what's going to happen is you're going to start getting a ton of um, spam emails in return. Like people will just start, um, you'll start getting websites that are just going to start emailing you. So make sure your email is like a burner Gmail address. Um, you can also make it a random email, but I do think it is helpful to see the responses. So, you know, whatever your email is, just make sure it's a burner. Okay. All right. So once you're done doing that, now you're going to start getting people texting you, right? So we have this going to a level, a uh, phone number in go high level. Um, if we go to the conversations again, this is what some of the, um, responses look like. And we, we've had over a hundred responses, of people saying, look, um, I chase, I'm intrigued about your offer. My fingers are crossed. May I ask what your motivation is? Blah, blah, blah. Hey, Chase, this is Sam Bell. Um, you know, I'm interested in getting help with my website. So we got all kinds of responses coming in, but this is where you can start automating even further, right? Because we've automated the lead generation portion. Now, now the next part is automating the closing and getting the audits booked. And that's when you're going to start setting up autoresponders and we can do things like call drops where we leave voicemails on their phone without ringing their phone. We can even set up robots that will um, interact with them on social media. That's the next part that I'm working on. Um, I'm not quite there yet. I, again, I, I just wanted to show you guys what I was up to lately. Um, but this is really just the first part of many moving parts. Um, but again, my issue right now, and this is what I really, really want to ask you for your help from or what uh, for your help is uh, what, you know, what do you want? What do you want me to do? Because I, I've pretty much cracked the code, um, to automate lead gen and getting leads coming in. Like pretty much with this method, you're going to be able to start pulling unlimited leads, um, for the time being while it works. But the, the hard part is, is trying to figure out what do you want? Like, do you want me to just do it for Like, do you want a done for you service? Do you want a course? Um, there's just so many different ways we can do it. Do you want me to just build, scrape the lists for you and give you the lists? Do you want me to set up all the robots for you? Um, now, I also want to mention that, by the way, the way you close these, because obviously I should tell you how you're making money with this. Otherwise, this wouldn't be a very good video. Um, what you would do is once they start saying that they're interested and you get them to say yes to a roadmap like this, just trying to get an example here. Hey, Chase, sure, sounds like a start to me. So then what you would do is you would take their website, right? You'd go over to shineranker.com. I'm gonna log in. Go to Shine Audit, and then you would plug their website in, right? So then you would plug their website in and figure out what's wrong with their website. You'd find all the reds that are, um, you know, all the things that are broken on their website. You'd export a CSV spreadsheet. And then you would preferably get on a Zoom call with them and you would say, hey, you know, I'm happy to fix the first thing on here for free. I would preferably tell, um, I would tell them that you're looking to get their analytics fixed first because the thing is most of these websites aren't going to have analytics and that way you can actually track their leads coming in. Um, and analytics only takes a couple seconds to set up. And then from there you would offer to um, take care of all the SEO stuff and, you know, get everything dialed in. And obviously, if you don't know how to do SEO and digital marketing, um, there's so many different ways that you can go about learning that as well. 
Um, we do have tutorials in Shine Ranker. I have tutorials on my channel. I also have courses um, on my website. Um, I don't know if any are for sale right now. I think if you go to chaserunner.com forward slash flash sale, I don't think I took these down yet, but there's a bunch of good deals here. Yeah, the SEO Pro Power Pack. This is like a thousand bucks, but it gives you access to all my recent courses. I would go um, grab that if you're really looking to learn how to do all the SEO stuff. But again, there's just so many different moving parts. There's so many ways to go about this. Um, and that's why I really do want to get feedback from you. Um, and the other cool thing about this method is it doesn't have to be limited to just contact forms. You know, this same method's working on, um, you know, Instagram bots, on Twitter DM bots. It's working on um, Craigslist. I'm, I, there's ways we can automate Craigslist. There's just so many different ways that we can automate. Um, I really do believe that automation and robots are the future and it's just, you know, a way to get pretty much unlimited leads coming in the door. Um, so I think that's the main part of this video. I'll keep you guys updated on what I end up doing next. Um, but, oh, I forgot to mention. So once they ask for the pricing, by the way, let's say they say, hey, yeah, I'd like to get the services done on my website. You know, can you implement these fixes from the audit? Um, I would recommend selling, you know, ongoing an ongoing retainer around a thousand bucks a month. If you can get 10 clients, which you should be able to do, because you should, I mean, with this method, you could be getting 50 to hundred new leads a day. Um, all you'd have to do is close like 1% of them at a thousand dollars a month, get 10 clients on a retainer. And now you're making 10 grand a month pretty quickly. So didn't you used to sell all the SEO stuff for $1? I'm not sure what you mean. I had a membership, a free trial that was a dollar and then it wound up going into a monthly thing, but we're not, we don't have the membership anymore. Anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. We'll see you in the next one.